Hello everyone. This session is about metabolism of amino sugar that is glycosaminoglycans. Glycosaminoglycans otherwise called as mucopolysaccharides. Mucopolysaccharides means it is an heteropolysaccharides. It does not contain the same unit of monosaccharides. It contains different monosaccharides that are repeating. So it is a heteropolysaccharide chain. Glycosaminoglycan is a heteropolysaccharide chain. They are generally proteoglycans. Bind large amounts of water forming gel like matrix. So it gives the ground substance to which all other elements are attached. So it gives you a ground substance for the cell. So along with collagen elastin, they are the fibrous structures. Fibronectin is an adhesive protein. So along with this, they form the extracellular matrix. So glycosaminoglycans give your gel-like matrix to which fibrous structures like collagen, elastin and adhesive protein like fibronectin are attached or linked to form the extracellular matrix. So they are also called as mucopolysaccharides due to the presence of glycosaminoglycans in the mucus secretion. So mucopolysaccharide is an old name for glycosaminoglycans because they have seen the, they have found the glycosaminoglycans in mucus secretions. So the old name for glycosaminoglycans is mucopolysaccharides. All these are heteropolysaccharide and also contains a proteoglycan. So what is the difference between glycoprotein and proteoglycan? Here proteoglycan means it is ending with glycan. Glycoprotein it is ending with protein. So whichever is ending that one is present in higher amount. Okay, It is present in excess. So here glycan means the amount of carbohydrate moiety, amount of the heteropolysaccharide units or more than 50 okay it is 10 to 50 it is more than 50 so it is in a higher amount whereas the protein present are little in glycoprotein the proteins are in excessive amount whereas the glucose moieties are in lesser amount so this is the difference between glycoprotein and proteoglycan your glycosaminoglycans has proteoglycan. So these are the difference between glycoprotein and proteoglycan. Glycoprotein are short and branched. Proteoglycan it is long linear and mostly it contains negative charges because I have said glycosaminoglycans has proteoglycans. All your glycosaminoglycans contains amino sugars as well as acidic sugars. So they are negatively charged, enormous amount of negative charge present in proteoglycan. It has high protein content because it is ending with protein. So the protein content is high here. Here it is low. This one contains low carb whereas the proteoglycan has high carb, nearly 95 percentage because this one is ending with glycan. That means high carbohydrate is present in proteoglycan. And other things, the glycoprotein has high mannose, contains sialic acid and fucose. Whereas proteoglycan, it contains low mannose and no sialic acid and fucose. This is because of, the, of its function. High mannose, it is happening in the Golgi borders. This high mannose acts as the label for their destinations. Whenever the enzyme is synthesized, whenever a protein is synthesized, endoplasmic reticulum takes the protein and move to the Golgi borders. They send the secretory vacuoles to the Golgi borders where there is attachment of high mannose. This high mannose was phosphorylated which gives the label for the destination of the protein synthesized. Contains sialic acid and fucose. Whichever element are present on the cell surface, they contain high amounts of sialic acid because this helps in cell, cell to cell recognition and signal transductions. So, here glycoprotein, it is 
mainly present on the cell membrane and serve as the integral membrane protein that is why it contains more and more amount of sialic acid glycoprotein also helps in protein sorting in the golgi bodies that is why it contains high mannose whereas coming to proteoglycan proteoglycan is nothing but your glycosaminoglycans glycosaminoglycans they attract more and more and amount of water and form a gel like matrix so they help in the formation of extracellular matrix they give structural support to extracellular matrix these are the difference between glycoprotein and proteoglycan